Have you ever been in that situation where you're just about to launch, you bring your wing up, it's nice and stable, you turn, you hit the power, and the engine goes bah. The reason for that is probably because your carb isn't set right. Now, people can be a bit worried about sorting the carb out. They think that tuning your carb requires pop-off pressures, all sorts of different jets. But actually, if you've got a Warbro carb, like 90% of paramotors, you literally need a screwdriver. Now, there's not that much to set in your carb. It's actually quite a simple thing to do once you understand the basic concept. There's three screws on a Warbro carburetor. You've got your high screw, which we're not gonna to touch, okay? We wanna leave that sealed. If you unseal that on a lot of manufacturer engines, that will um, invalidate the warranty. You've also got your low screw. Now, this is the first one that we're gonna adjust. Your low screw is what um, adjusts the mixture on low RPM settings and idle RPM settings. You've also got an idle speed screw, and we're gonna come to that once we've set the low screw. On a warm day, the engine's gonna run a little bit richer, and on a cold day, the engine's gonna run a little bit leaner. The telltale sign that your carburetor settings have changed is your idle speed will change. So if you get your motor on, start it up, and you notice the propeller's spinning, the idle's a little bit faster than normal, chances are the engine's running a little bit on the lean side, so you would need to richen it up. If you get uh, the engine on your back and whenever you come off the throttle, it just stalls, that's because it's not running as well, it's running too rich and you'll probably find that you need to lean that low screw up a little bit. So the screw that we're looking at here on the carburetor is the low screw and that's a fuel screw. So if we turn that screw in, if we turn that screw clockwise, we're reducing the amount of fuel in the mixture, therefore leaning up the carburetor. If you believe that your carburetor is not set right, what you, the first thing you want to do is go back to factory standards. So on the Moster, the low screw wants to be set at a quarter of a turn, 15 minutes. With the Atom 80, it's 90 minutes for the standard setting, so that's a turn and a half. As you can see with a Moster, it's quite awkward to get to that low screw. With a normal screwdriver, you just, you just can't get in. So I would recommend finding yourself one of these babies. You can get these from the Northern Sky shop. And as you can see, it's got a perfect 90 degree angle and you can adjust it using the handle of the screw. Even better than that, you could get yourself one of these babies from Skybound. These are perfect for the Moster. They just sit straight on the low screw and allow you to easily make adjustments with your fingers. We're now gonna stick the motor on your back, start her up and give her a run. So once you've set the mixture and you're happy that it's running well, so as you can see there, when I slowly increase the power, there's no hesitation, there's no issues. When I blip the throttle, there's definitely no hesitation. There's none of that bar that we heard earlier. Um, that means that your mixture's set. Now you want to take a look at the idle. So if you've had to make some adjustments to that mixture, let's say you've had to lean it up a little bit, screw that mixture screw in a little bit more, you'll probably find that your idle is higher. So we're gonna to have to adjust that idle screw by just screwing it out a little bit. If you've had to richen her up, you'll probably find that the idle isn't high enough now. So we'll need to increase the idle by screwing it in a little bit. Once you're happy with how the engine's running, you're confident that the idle is set correctly, you know it's not going to stall on you, 
there's only one thing left to do. Take her for a fly.